<laughs> Welcome back everyone. I got my hands on the leather Aspen case from Ander for the iPhone 15 series, in particular the 15 Pro Max. And I made a video review of this case for the 14 Pro Max and a lot has changed since then. I'm just kidding, not a lot. Two things, the USB port and the action button. But speaking about the actual case itself, this case is my go-to leather case of all time. I mean, I used to be a big fan of the Apple leather ones, but ever since I used this for the 14 Pro Max, I love the fit and finish of this thing and also the type of leather that is used. I mean, it looks great and the fit and finish is amazing, which is the most important part when choosing a case. I do really like how it fits on the 15 Pro Max. It's snug around the quarters, which I'm really nitpicky about because I don't like cases that feel loose around the sides and don't feel like they're supposed to be on the phone. This thing has a really premium feel. And what would be the best time to buy this case, especially when Apple gets rid of their leather cases? I know it's so unfortunate. It used to be great that they had leather cases so that you can really gear up your iPhone with the most premium cases. However, we no longer have that option. I did get myself the fine woven cases from the Apple store. However, I returned it after about two weeks because I was not liking the material. For $59, it did not feel like a premium case. I mean, it felt like a little windbreaker jacket material, like the really weird one where if you run your nails around it, it kind of makes that weird noise. Yeah, it's not good looking. I mean, the bands of it are plasticky and then you have that fine woven material on the back. Definitely did not like it. And this is the best alternative to that if you're looking for a premium case like leather. I do want you to keep in mind that this case is the earlier version for the 15 Pro Max. So it does have a cutout for the action button, which most case manufacturers came out with the same type of style for the 15 Pro Maxes. But a lot of them now are also including cases with the action button. So if you order this case, it will come out in November with the action button being available and no longer a cutout. So it will match the rest of the buttons like the volume rocker buttons and it will have that clicky feeling so you can press the action button a lot easier. So the case overall hasn't changed much. You still have this nice little black ring around the camera for the camel tan color. And it looks great with the natural titanium. I mean, that's the color that I chose because I had previous iPhones from previous years have their sides kind of rubbed off from other cases that don't have microfiber linings. In this case, this one does, and it protects the sides because it has a snug feel to it. So you shouldn't really have that problem, but I went with the natural titanium just in case, so there's no extra coating from the color of the iPhone to be rubbed off. But it looks great. I mean, with this lighter brown color, I do really enjoy the fact that you can really see the natural titanium on the bottom, and maybe, I don't know, the darker color iPhone would have looked better due to the black ring on the cameras, or I mean on the camera bump, but I can say that with natural titanium, it does the job well as well. So this is, like I mentioned, a great fit and finish for this case. I mean, there's nothing more to ask for in a leather case besides having that snug feel, and then also to patina good over time. So there, has, there is a couple of marks on my case currently uh, for me using it, and you can see the lighter color underneath, but that's normal wear and tear for these leather cases, and the leather looks better as it patinas over time. So keep that in mind, it's not defective, it's just how the leather changes over time. But other than that, I mean, it's a great case, really do recommend it, especially if you're someone that had leather cases before and you really liked Apple's version of the leather case. But unfortunately for $59, the fine woven case is not something I would consider anymore. I mean, for 55 bucks, I would rather get this leather Aspen case, which is a lot better uh, fit and finish in your hand. And it's one solid material compared to two different materials like those fine woven cases. For the price point, this is a great buy, and you're gonna be really pleased if you decide to go with these leather Aspen cases. And they do have a couple of different colors on the site that you can choose from, depending on your liking. I will leave a link to this case in my video description below, as well as in the comment box with the link and a 15% coupon code so that you can get your hands on one of these and test them out yourself. See if you like the leather Aspen cases, and let me know in the comments below if you purchase one or you plan on purchasing one, and I will respond in that comment section. But other than that, 
Thank you for watching this video. Give me a like if you do like it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Zanif Tech is out.